All right, the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweetpea here, and it is finally time to wrap up Dong Zhuo's Wong Wong campaign. And we finish off at the battle at Chi Bi. time. At the beginning we were friends and allies with Wu Bu and DL Chan. And now we will strike them down. Let's find out why. Despite the lack of reinforcements from Lu Bu, Dong Juo successfully defeats Lu Bei and destroys the kingdom of Shu. The celebration does not last long, however, as Dong Juo suddenly receives news that Lu Bu has revolted. Not only does he refuse to send reinforcements, Lu Bu is now standing against Dong Zhuo. Even Diao Chan, whom he had sent to keep an eye on Lu Bu, has joined the rebellion. Dong Zhuo is infuriated by this betrayal. Dong Zhuo personally leads an invasion force against Lu Bu. Dong Zhuo's massive fleet covers the Changjian River. Two suns cannot rise in the sky. The showdown between the two heroes at Chibi will determine once and for all who will rule over the land. So, we must face the mighty Wu Bu in battle. I'm not particularly looking forward to this mission because of what I've been told in the comments about it. So, for our forces, there's us. Right at the front, actually, which is kind of surprising. And there's Lei Ru, Lei Zhu, Giu Xi, Ni Fu, Ni Meng, Wang Fang, Xiao Shao Shen, Zhu Rong, and Huang Fu Song. Huh. I remember just being a Jin off a, a Han officer, sorry. In the Elder Rebellion. Kind of to see him suddenly randomly here. And for Lu Bu army, there is Wu Bu himself. And there's the El Chan. Oh man, even Zhang Wei Al betrayed us, that sucks. Uh, Gao Shan, Song Xian, and Wei Zhu. Only six of them! That won't be for long, from what I've heard. So, conditions. We must defeat both Wu Bu and DL Chan. And we've spent ourselves some dying. So, we are killed two commanders. Should be interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright then. Item um, yeah, item wise, our oh, good old Star Sword. Now, this is where I'm going to be deviating and doing one of the challenges that was I, on my back list. Now the challenge I'm going to do today is going to be a risky one considering the um, circumstances of the battle, to be honest. But, I'm going to attempt to do something called the Champion of Bravery, which I think I've tried previously maybe, or maybe not, I don't really remember. Since it's been a while since I've done this consistently. But basically, it has to be a 90 minute stage, which this is. I have to defeat 90% of the officers, which shouldn't be a problem. I have to have a KO count of 500 plus, and I can only use one item of choice. This is where the difficult one is. I am actually tempted to go for the HP and sacrifice the defense since I think I might need a bit more health for this one. So I'm actually going to give up the H. I'm going to keep the HP item, I think. Because if I lose that, I'm essentially going to play very defensively. So. I'm going to try it with HP only, which gives me a decent set of stats, a bit less defense, but we may just have to be a bit more careful this time around. I always forget to keep the bodyguard, so that's a good thing, so they'll be useful. Maybe a bit more useful than usual. Alright then, so we're going to do Buddy Aces Challenge. We got our deep, we've just got to kill 500 people and the 90% of the officers. I think that won't be a problem, however. So, should be good. Right, let's get started. Apparently, things are going to turn for the worse very quickly, according to Harrison Smith. So, we need to get our game, really. 
Oh, and before I forget, I almost forgot this shout out. Oh, hang on. What's a point? Okay, never mind. It's not the moment. Forward! Anyone who falters dies! We shall show those traitors a thing or two. <coughs> Stop him! Stop Lubu! Keep him away from me! Oh, hey, calm down, Jung Chuo. It's only Wu Bu. Ha 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 ha. Seems a bit panicky about having Wubu anywhere near him, huh? I guess so. No one that can blame him. It is Wubu after all, one of the mightiest warriors in the land, fighting against you. So this is where we're probably going to be see how well we do without our key item. Damn it! I was hoping to catch him before he got up. Oh man! Cody. I'm already missing that defense item. This is going to be really hard because, as you know, the AI on the final missions of this game is, well, very nippy. It doesn't help the fact I'm fighting against people with sp Oh, God. Full ball Muzu there. Oh, man. Can't even get a shot off. This guy. So that's what the champion of bravery must be all about. Do you feel like doing that stun attack? Let's take him out quickly. Ah, no, you don't. There we go. All right, so that's a way zoo down. That should help for a while. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say how things are gonna turn bad, but they used to say they are going to. Hopefully, all these guys will drop some health, which I could really use at this point. There's something being dropped, but I don't think it was health. Oh. So, due to the items and stuff, that due to the lack of items we currently possess, weapons, we, we may have to play this a bit more defensively than usual. So don't be surprised if I'm taking a few minutes to step out of the fight to uh, pick up health items. Our health is basically going to be in part our defense. And that's not forgetting the fact that, you know, we have to fight Wubu. I don't imagine Wubu will be very forgiving. So, we will have to pick up as much health and be on our toes against him. I don't think DL Chan should cause too many problems, mind you. Even though she'll be at the highest level on normal mode. They gotta deal with these archers, actually. They're gonna be a real threat since we don't have bow defense anymore. So, we might wanna deal with them. Oh man, get off me. Uh, no you don't, sir. Okay, we got two officers here at the same time. We may have to st we may have to consider using arrows as well quite a bit. Good, that Bowman's going to be a pain. Get up! There you go. So hopefully we can take out another two officers here. Oh, come on. Come back into the fight, Wazen. Oh, not quite in time to be in range, huh? What the hell hit me? Something hit me then. I don't even know what that was. Some... Some muzu, I'm sure. Alright, hopefully this will take him out. Or at least cripple his health to near death. Oh, man. Oh, need to be careful here. I'm gonna grab that muzu power up. Oh, they took the gate. That's not good. Nice. An nice work, Mateo. Let's take this guy out quickly. We must fight well. Bam! And another one is down. An oh, that should have hit him. Oh, it's archers, is it? A fucking archer pack. Oh, uh, of course we do have to bring archers to the battle. Why not? Got to be careful here. Don't want to get hit by those archers, especially with no bow defense either. With no bow defense and no regular defense, so they could really pack a punch. So we need to be very careful here. Right. Get off me. Get the fuck off me. 
These archers must die. I don't think I need to tell you all why archers are a pain in the ass. Hey, there we go. I was a bit worried about my bodyguard's health then. Fortuitous health drop, though. Always helps. Something about those. Wow, I need to pick them up. Ah, uh, damn it! I keep. Leave my bodyguards alone, you. Looks like Wei Wu has a plan. Hmm. I wonder if we should be helping out Lei Wu at this point. Well, one thing we should certainly do is pick up these health drops. There we go. Bodyguards back to full health. Alright, so how's it going then? Wei Wu's over there. DL Chan's there. Zhang Liao's there. Zhong Xian's there. I think we should go attack Zhang Liao if we can. Eh? Zhong Xiao's fire attack has engulfed the fleet in flames. Alright, so it actually worked. Nice. Alright. We've... They're not gonna flee, dude. Stupid. There are allies among them as well. Oh boy. Cool. This is inexcusable. Eh? What's going on? This is very inexcusable. I think you might find this is called war, DL Chan. Also, you're Saying that while well, you're reading. Oh, never mind. There's no point reasoning with DL Chun now. She decided to side with Wu Bu. I think DL Chun has done far worse in his life somehow. Oh god, everyone's suddenly dying. But apparently, they implied there's allies among our forces as well. I think this is the point where things are about to get pretty bad. Maybe. Oh man, everyone's dying. Rather than telling us, yeah, I don't think I don't think they're being wiped out here, folks. I think they're defecting. That's not a good thing. On the other hand, it doesn't really matter too much because we're the commander, so not the worst, I suppose. Wow, that, I have double defense, and I still can't take a hit from one of these sergeants. Yeah, we're going to have to turn the bow as quickly as we can. I don't think we'll have to worry about the 500 KO somehow. We'll have plenty of people to pick on for that. You're a than I have heard. So, <clears throat> let's go find Zhang Liao. He will be a big morale turner, I think. It's just over here to the right-hand side. Get out of here. Bit of a risk doing this aggressive strategy, but I don't. I think if we don't do something soon, then we're gonna probably have no fighting everyone anyway. So we may need to be quick on the draw. And here he is. This will be a big blow to Wu Bu and Diao Chan if we can get it fairly comfortably. Oh god! Ow! That fucking. Gee, calm down. Heaven smiles upon us. All units, charge! Heaven smiles upon us, huh? I think that's called well, look, maybe a bad study of meteorological conditions, Blue Boo. But whatever, dude. Oh, I can't believe I've been hit twice by his damn Muzu. I very rarely get hit by Muzus from enemy officers. Well, that's fine. We'll deal with it. This is your end. Uh, I would say it's your end, but one of the sergeants decided to save your life for a few more seconds. Oh, man, this is... 
And he's got archers as well. We need to take him out fast so we can be Sounds a bit like Hung Guy's voice after there. Ah, come on. I need to kill Zhang Weiao quickly. Do not lose this deadlock. Let's kill him quickly. Yes, he's gone. Good. I have found my place of rest. Farewell. Boom. Wow, that is the worst moment I've seen on a friend we tied. For quite some time. Alright, well, we've managed to take out Zhang Weiao. That should be a big boost for us, since it looks like we're pretty much going to be fighting them all on our own in a little bit. I can't imagine it getting much better than... I can't imagine it getting much better for a while. We may very well be on... We may very well soon be fighting everyone by ourselves, which, again, is no problem for me. I can deal with it. I mean, I've killed Zhang Weiao, so I've tried my best to get the morale up. We seem to just... This health... I'm certainly starting to be very, very grateful I've taken the health power up. I mean, I was going to go for the defense, but it seems like... Uh, Oh, great. Just what we needed. More annoying pests. So, justice prevails. And let you now bear what before you wrought upon others. With your assistance, by the way, DL Sean. You were as part of this as at me. Well, technically, I guess... Yeah. Sorry, DL Chan, you don't come out of this swing of roses either. Well, technically, Molly, I guess. There are no winners in this scrap. Alright, so. Well, we're just gonna have to keep on going. We're doing pretty well in the KO count, like. The only playable officers left to threat are gonna be Shang Fei. Wu Bu and DL Chan. And the only one of those I'm really scared of is Wu Bu. <laughs> what happened there? Did he glitch backwards or something? Bam! Get out of here. You should have disappeared a long time ago anyway. As such. Oh, I'm supposed to secure the gates before early reinforcements bring Archer Pain. Well, I've certainly done that. Oh, God. More archers. Yay. Look at that damage. That was one archer hit. Did that much damage to my health. That is bad. Thankfully, my bodyguards are being of major use. Really shining now, the John Sweet Pea crew. I blocked that as well. What the hell? That was weird. Right, what's the archers done? Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to be fighting on our own soon. There's not many of our forces left. So it wouldn't be the first time I fought by myself in a mission. Oh, God, that morale break. Uh, Muzu break, sorry, I should say. Well, ultimately, it was only ever going to be about Dong Zhuo only. A man who... Pretty much fought for himself, now has to fight I have defeated an by himself. Hmm. Bit of a waste, oh well. Kill off these dudes. This is it. Invincibility mode engage! Yeah, I'll win it early, I think. I don't have any reason to spam it this time. That would be so useful! That would sure be useful against the... Uh, oh, God. They're all in trouble. Where are the reinforcements? There are no reinforcements. You're going to die. Just get it over with already. I'm, re I'm prepared to fight everyone by myself anyway. Only the bravest of champions fights by themselves. I 
Ivion Wei shall avenge Lord Cao Cao. You have got to be kidding me. More reinforcements, huh? Uh, I think they just said what? How is Don Wei a traitor exactly? That doesn't make any sense! Dong Zhuo, he's not a traitor, he's trying to... Ah, oh, whatever. At this point, Dong Zhuo's boy lost his mind at the fact that reinforcements keep coming every so often. Alright, well, it looks... Oh, it wasn't just Shang Fei. It was Guan Yu and Shang Fei. Oh, my. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Well, um, I guess we need to go and deal with the uh, reinforcements. Yeah, there ain't many, many friendly forces left now. In fact, I imagine the rest of this map will probably be everyone bumrush Dong Zhuo. Yeah, they're even heading towards me. This is not going to be good. We may have to play keep away. As long as possible. Not particularly liking this. There might be a bit of a pain to something to deal with every playable officer at once. If this keeps up. So not exactly much we can do. Maybe if we could salvage this back line, maybe we can have a wall with cannon fodder while I deal with the rest of them. That'd be our only hope at this point. <coughs> Should be awkward. Well, Mark Shao apparently also warned me about this, saying that Wei and Chu will come support Wu Bu, which they are also using a fail skill attack. Should be a uh, fun. I don't think we're gonna be. I don't think we're gonna get that morale up for some time. Maybe if we, t even if we take out the Wei, Wei and Chu, Wei and Chu officers, I. I think the problem's gonna be. No, you won't. No, you won't, buddy. I will put an end to this. Eventually. Alright, here we'll have to be very careful. So we shouldn't see Elden is quite a fast character, but we should be fine. Oh god, they really are charging us! Fucking hell, we're gonna have Wubu and DL Chanas in a second. Which cannot happen. That is not good. Not that I'm against the idea of defeating Wubu and DL Chan at this point. The problem is I have to defeat 500 for the challenge. Get out of here. I have to defeat. This is going to be problematic. Extremely problematic. Alright, so that's Zia Hong Don. Zia Hong Don down. I don't think so, Sergeant type person. I mean, this will be the quick end, but the problem is I don't know if I want to fight Wu Bu and DL Chon anyway. Both at once. Not with this kind of bad defense anyway. Alright, we need to keep moving. Hopefully they won't engage us directly and we'll use their... Uh, army first. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Hey, that horse will be useful. Come here, horsey! Ah, last, some transport. This should help. Thanks, uh, Hundun. You have left a grand steed for me to use. So, I was told last time how to unlock, um, Wubu's Dynasty Tactics costume. I have to basically complete all the Muzu modes, which is the six of seven, and then I have to play this mission on very hard mode. And then I will hear Wu Bu's Dynasty Tactics theme, apparently. And all I gotta do is beat him. But I'm not to play as Wu Bu. So, sounds like a possible challenge for after I. I will crush you with my own hands. Also, no boss, we don't see a lot of down way. Wow, those archers may be extremely useful. Oh no, he won the deadlock, but he didn't capitalize for some reason. Good for us. Damn it. Nice. Good interrupt, archers. Good interrupts. That's him out of the way. My life. 
Okay, excellent. We must fight well. That's good. That should put a few more officers between us and the Wu Bu Diao Chan War of Death, anyway. So, yeah, I might consider doing the Dynasty Tactics Chowin, uh, third, the third costume unlock Chowins for further down the line. Although I've heard, although very hard is, well, very hard. But, so no promises, but I will consider it alongside all these fourth weapons. I'm not going to break them. I'm not going to break their block here, am I? Wow. I'm sure I got a block on that. Alright, one you. Time to pay. No more interfering in my business, you. Come on, finish him! Yes! Take that! I have failed my brothers. Next time, stay out of my business. Just because I took over your lands by myself without Wubu's assistance. Alright, we just need to defeat Shang Fei now, and then I guess we're gonna have to kill a few more people. We're not even on 300 yet. Is that all you can say? I am Shang Fei. You said that last time. Get a new line, buddy. Well, at least the remnant of the forces that are left for me are all archers. Just good. They're proving their worth and then some. Come on. Oh, I knew that was a bad idea. Whoa, he's sitting there with a meter of his own. Very good. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Jackass. No, I need to do that. Nice. Another good intercept once again. Adios, Shang Fei. Hey, no, that was actually going up now for once. My brother. For forgive me. Where's your backup now? Oops, that was a bit of a waste. We must fight well. Oh well. Alright. Well, we've taken out all the uh, backup. All that's left now is Rubu and Diao Chan, who seem to be tied together quite closely. Hmm. We're gonna need to kill more people, though, before we go and engage them. Otherwise, we'll not fulfill the challenge. I mean, we're doing pretty well at the moment. We've, I'm certainly sure we've killed every officer ourselves, so we're way on target for that. But we need to get the 500. So I'm going to kill a couple of these guys just to fulfill the requirements. Yeah, they might be in trouble, but... Hold on as long as you can, guys. I know eventually I'm probably just going to have to fight Wu Bu and Diao Chan myself. Like I have for everyone else here so far. So good to see not all my officers died instantly as soon as morale hit rock bottom. Hopefully this won't take too long. So I'm aware all I'm doing is literally just getting grinding for numbers, but hey, I've got to fulfill the challenge. It would suck to do all this good work with really any with one item only and then fail on the KO count. Besides, it's a good chance for me to get some health, which is what I need badly. And you bodyguards have done a good job as well. You've been a good thorn in the side of the Blue Boo army. You have served John Sweet Pea well today. Hey, look, another officer. Nice. Another kill for us. Go, Zaiozu. Go. Pest. Go, us. Alright, time for Muzu counter, I guess. No? Yes. My kill. Mine. I lead by example. Which is panicking very easily. You missed. Take that. So apparently, an interesting thing I did see in the comments in response to the uh, Dynasty Tactics unlock method was apparently how to get Zun Shang Jiang's third 
costume. The part which is quite insane. Apparently you have to unlock all the items and have all as well as all the weapons. I think. Holy sh wow. So basically you have to unlock everything, apparently, to get it. Hmm. 313. There's a fair amount of forces to deal with, mind, but hmm. I wonder if we should go take out the gate captains, honestly. Maybe that would kill some time. I'm debating whether to go and kill those gate captains, since they do seem to keep spawning stuff, I think. Hmm, kill the... Nah, there's probably no point at this stage. We'll just fight. We'll just head into the massive army and take out as many as possible. Looks like they are drip feeding some stuff down, but... We should be fine. I mean, if it gets really bad and we lose everyone but me, then yeah, I might go take care of them. Just to stand in the tide of reinforcements, but other than that... Nuts. Alright, it looks like Wubu and DL trying to at least hang back. That's good. That means we can deal with them Zerg of numbers and then use our Zerg against them, which is good. And we should be able to get the 500 without any problems, hopefully. Because this has sure been a very tense mission for me. This has been, well, I've had, the only one I can think that has been this tense due to the situation has been the Way mission at the Siege of Heifei Castle, which was an absolute nightmare, but this has not been too bad. Mainly because of my high health. If I didn't have my health item on me at this point, I'd have been dead at least twice in the early going. Maybe I was saying I'd have to play more defensively, but yet, not so. I've played pretty much exactly the same as normal. Sometimes health really is the best defense. Yeah, you've been in trouble for ages. You'll be fine. We'll cripple on the morale a little bit by killing off the infantry. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't think the uh, reinforcements in the north are going to be any problem. They're too small, and if anything, they'll add to the KO count by coming down here, so I guess we should keep them in. Ooh, lose it for 10 seconds. Ah, oh, if only there was a massive amount of people around here to use it on. As it is, it's just kind of a waste right now. Oh well, at least it gives me my Muzu back. You in trouble as well? Oh well, that's the end of him. Took him long enough. That's what you get for not encountering the wind conditions in your fire attack. Makes me wonder what would have happened if we'd allowed him to use his fire attack on Wu Bu's side. No, I guess we'll never find out because it never happened. In fact, nothing really happened. We strolled for this mission into Wu Bu because Wu Bu is awesome. On this mission, we've had to go through hell, fire, more hell, and then Shu and Wei showing up. You might think that's a bit of a waste of a pickup, but I'm thinking of keeping my bodyguards alive for all this. We might need them. Unfortunately, probably as cannon fodder against Wu Bu himself. I mean, the Chan should be fine. As, as eight starred up to the guild, she'll be, but. Should be fine. Wubu, on the other hand, I genuinely fear that I might be fighting his uh, Huau Gate incarnation as a final fight. Which is bad, but even if it's not, it's still bad anyway, because he's got a better weapon than we have. For that matter, most characters in the game. Alright. 343. As soon as I get that, um. Actually, it might be a good idea to kill these people first, because I think if we're going to fight them both at the same time, I mean, they are sort of separate for now, but they might not be for long. And I have the feeling if I kill one, it will enrage the other. That's usually what happens with DL Chan, uh, Wu Bu. Especially if you kill DL Chan first, usually Wu Bu will get enraged, and then bad things will happen. I think if I'm not mistaken, if DL Chan dies on Hu Ao Gates. And, um, at least in Dice Story is free. I don't know about Extreme Legends' version of that event, but I think if DL Chan dies, I think we'll actually defect just to get revenge on you or something. I might actually kill DL Chan first just to see what, if that happens or not. Could be interesting. Alright, is anyone else to destroy? 
Yeah, I think we got more than enough uh, enemy here to get our 500 kills, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I apologize if this is the boring part. If you want to grab a drink or anything or skip the video ahead slightly, I don't know if maybe now's the time. I can't say in advance, obviously, but maybe this might be the not-so-fun part while I slog through offers and try and talk about stuff on the fly. We will have to see. I was also given a suggestion last time on how apparently I was supposed to get the Divine Gauntlets by uh, Mark Shaw. Apparently I should have waited and not killed any officers whatsoever and waited out for Guan Yu to show up. So apparently I should have just sat there and wet the bad morale, kill everyone off, apparently. Oh, there's DL Chan speaking of which. Oh, they are coming closer. Don't know if I want to kill DL Chan just yet. Yeah, these archers might need to die first. See how much damage they do. Holy crap, he fired fast. You see how quickly he fired that second shot? It's like... Wow, incredible. Apparently though I should have killed Guanping first. Well, I guess I should have... I guess I could have not killed any officer whatsoever, but that would have made a very boring opening, maybe. But maybe not. Well, I guess we'll never know. Maybe I'll... Maybe if I go on an item pursuit or something... Or in case I decide to decide to go on Sun Shan Jiang's third costume or what. Maybe I'll go on maybe I will end up back in that situation again. Wow, there's no one to congratulate me for um killing fifty. Uh, is there no one left? Oh god, it's just me. It's just me and Zaizu. And that's it. It's come down to us three and Zaizu's there too. How fitting. No one left but us. I also congratulate myself. You are a worthy officer, don't you? Oh! Alright. <coughs> hmm, we are starting to run out. Ah, uh, we should be fine. We'll just have to keep alternating between the east and west or something. We'll get our 500. Well, not shouldn't be too much longer now, anyway, hopefully. Plus, with all this extra attack and defense we've accumulated in this battle, will be of use as well. Good thing is we're getting a lot of plus 8 drops. A couple of plus 4s as well. And generally just filling out the the, the, uh, the potential of being backstabbed will be useful. Plus what remains of my forces may well distract Wubu's bodyguard so I can get a good shot at him on time. The only downside is that we won't be able to get any health pickups from the uh, packs of soldiers. But that is a... Price I'm willing to engage. I mean, if I'm smart enough in battle, I don't get hit anyway by Wubu or DL Chan. It's always that threat of being backstabbed, which is the bar one. As, it, as, it's, as, as if I haven't had enough betrayals today to deal with. There's Wubu. Looks like they are running in close. Hmm. I may be wrong about those gate captains. They do seem to be spawning reinforcements a little bit more than I thought. But it's probably a bit pointless to go cut them off now. Yeah, there's probably no point. There's enough uh, of my forces remaining to hold off the red tide of Wubu's people. So, and we'll soon be wrapping this mission up anyway once I finally get 500 kills. Or maybe I'll get, or maybe I'll get 498 and we'll have Wubu and DL Charm be the last two kills on that list. For irony's sake. There'll be someone coming behind me then. Uh, hope I don't have to do too many more. Hopefully, I want to do too much more slogging like this. I apologize if this part's not exactly the most exciting, but it's part of a challenge. And besides, consider it some good build up for what about what is about to come. I may even consider making a save actually against Wubu and DL Chan. Just in. Nah, I should be fine. If things look bad, though, I will save, just to prevent death. But I should be fine. I mean, they're, far, they're just about far enough away to be not close to each other. They were both at the same time, and that would be bad. I don't think I could take on two playable officers in this state. Jeff B there with a nice intercept. Good job. 
My bodyguards will certainly earn a big promotion after this. Maybe I'll make them. Uh, they could have an area. They could have an area of China each. Um, Jeff Boo can have like. I don't know. Maybe what well, Cow Cow wants conquered. Kawa Shu can have all of Wu Bu's former territories. Zhu Qing can have Shu's former areas, and Mattel can have Wu's former territories. I don't know. We'll decide how to divide up the land later. Alright, 455. Come on. Just tick over nicely. Have to go any offensive here and kill these guys. Hopefully, maybe if I clear enough of the path, maybe some of these archers on this side will come and assist me. I won't mind having a whole pack of friendly archers for the final scrap against the duo. Would certainly give me a massive upper hand. Did. Oh, sorry, Jeff Boo. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm not betraying you. Don't worry. Honest. Actually, after this battle be over, even if I win, who my allies are gonna be? I mean, most of my people have been defeated or, you know, worn out. Anyone could, anyone could wish we step in after this and probably take over the land, essentially. Man, I don't think there's anyone left. Maybe the Jin Empire? This is like after Dynasty Warriors 7, Jin would be involved somewhere along the line. But, since this was before then, I guess we win. Unless Narman want to show up, I guess. They might be a bit of a pain. Or the Turbans, for some bizarre, illogical reason. Yeah, looks like those gates are spawning quite a bit. Hmm. Good. They're spawning in the 500 I need to finish this. Uh, or not. Okay, I think we should just go back towards Wubu and DL Chan. There's probably going to be enough um, guards left for me to get the remaining kills I need. It's time to put an end to all this anyway. So we should be good. I would hope. Oh yeah, and before I forget, um, I've been asked to give a shout out by Angel Collier. So, since this is the latter part of the mission, I am to say un saludo para Angel Collier. I hope I said that correctly. There's your shout out, Angel Collier. Hope you like it. I also did it at the start of the video, but then I realized you specifically requested I do it in the latter stages of this mission, so there you go. I don't think I've ever, I think I've ever asked to do a shout-out before, so that'll be my first ever shout-out on my videos. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I should have stayed over here for a long time. This 500 is going to be in the bag. And there it is, the 500. You are a great warrior, sweet bee. Well done. Alright. Well, the challenge will be complete now. Or oh, we've killed every single officer ourselves. We've only got one item. All is good. All that's left now, we just got to defeat the two commanders. I wonder if I should keep some of these alive, actually. Nah, I could use these guys as bait, uh, cannon fodder against the mighty duo. The bodyguards, that is. All right. Ooh, I've actually gone down to seven. We've been fighting for so long, they're getting tired of it too. Alright. They are quite close, mind you. I think they'll DL Chan's on this side. Let's kill DL Chan first. Let's see if we can get Wubu to enrage. Maybe if he enrages, it will mock his super hyper pissed off form. Push your bit easier, the two, we think. Oh. Ah, damn it, she's not staying still. Alright, DL Charm. Justice has come for your head. Or not. You seem to be running off. <coughs> Alright, come on, DL Charm. Stop hiding next to Wubu. Oh, no. Is she really retreating now? I thought this might be a bizarre. Alright, cool, I guess. We get that. 
Alright, DL Chan. Time to pay. This is what you get for betraying me! Ungrateful wrench! But you get. Ha! Ah, what are you do now, Woo Boo? I've killed your girlfriend. Now you're going to be angry, right? Or not. Never mind. I guess Woo Boo doesn't care after all. At least not on this mission. I thought he might be super pissed we just killed his girlfriend, but I guess they didn't put that in this time. Alright. Let's go wrap this gig up. Woo Boo! It is time! Time has come for us to decide who the real master is. You pathetic dog! Fighting the hand that feeds you! You're nothing without me! Same cutscene as... Two can play this Muzu defensive game, Wubu. Oh god. Oh! Alright, he's not quite up to his oh, well, gate self, but... Not to be ignored for that. He's got one of the... Well, we don't. I don't think we need to explain why we don't ignore Wubu's move set. It's, we know how powerful it is, especially considering his range. If nothing else, if we get caught in too many of his moves, we would lose. Look away! It looks like Wubu's being a bit curious or something. Be careful, though. Wow, this may not be as difficult as I thought. Maybe because we've probably done the smart thing and took out the backup first. That's probably why. If he'd been in the middle of all his men, this might have been a very different story. But because we've grinded out our 500 kills, Wu Boo is not going to be much of a problem, we don't think. Needs to be. Be very careful of his triangle attack, particularly. Should be alright otherwise. His Muzu's not the greatest, it's kind of narrow in some regards, so we might even be able to evade it if we might get a counter Muzu here. Oh. Bye bye, Woo Boo. Oh, damn it. I went to do I went to finish this with a little style. Juggle! Juggle the Woo Boo! Next time a vote against someone weaker than me. For the final time, Dong Zhuo's forces are triumphant. Wu Bu was nothing without me anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so we took out Wei Zhu early in this final battle. And Gao Shun, for that matter. Should have been a cake in the walk in the park, right? Nope. Instead, we had betrayal, uh, well, betrayal slash death, whatever happened. The situation changed quickly. Zhang Weo was defeated. Morale remained low. Then everyone started dropping like flies while we took out Zhong Shan. Guan Yu and Shang Fei showed up, followed by Don Wei and Zhang Hun Dun to cause chaos. While Wu Bu and Diao Chan chased us down, we quickly rubbed off Zhang Hun Dun. Then Don Wei. Then Guan Yu. Then Shang Fei. Putting an end to the pathetic resistance of Wei and Shu. Then we grinded out some kills for a little bit. Making sure we got the 500. Where we unfortunately fell in battle. As is DLC, leaving us alone with the duo. However, the duo did not really put up that much resistance, surprisingly. With the aid of a double attack item. Never fast forwarding. DL Chan fell first and quickly. And then, at long last, the mighty warrior Wu Bu fell, 38 minutes later. The total victory was ours. Oh, goody! All we got for that was one long sword. Good thing I'm not going for weapons. Oh, nice. Extra arrows. Okay. Some bodyguard weapons, I guess, for consideration. Well, I'm going to stick with that one. It's a shame bodyguards don't seem to get multiple stats on their weapons. Alright, and many, many points. As you can see there, we killed 13 officers. Most of the 90% of the kills, and 
Even got a combo, a small combo bonus at one point. Let's see if the bodyguards can get any more points before we head send them off to the final assignment, which is the final officer. It'd be nice, because I wouldn't mind putting another point in attack for them. Oh good, we got a growth point, excellent. Fantastic. Let's see what class Dong Zhuo ends up as. Tyrant General, I guess? I'm glad we got that growth point, though, because that means we give our bodyguards who have fought well in this battle. None of them died, which is excellent. So, a bit more attack for them. Check our scores. Yep, we outplayed our DL Chun, Wu Bei, and Wu Bu scores on this map. We also got the most KOs. Clear time, not so great, but then again, we didn't have to fight everybody. Alright, so let's check out the ending for Dong Zhuo. See what we get. Dong Zhuo of Zeliang. Possessing great physical strength, he was skilled in the arts of fighting. He entered Lulang to bring order back to the Imperial Court, and ultimately found himself in the highest seat of political power. He took out 221 at Huo Gate, 426 at Wandu. 215 bandits were also slain. 290 were killed at Heifei Castle. 411 at Tong Gate. 396 Shuok men at the Wuzang Plains. And finally, 525 at Chibi, taking down Wubu in the process. At last. Whoa. Senjida. So it was that the Three Kingdoms perished, and Dong Zhuo's dream of total conquest came to fruition. Dong Zhuo, the Great Conqueror, unbeatable in battle, radical in strategy. Such deeds were unparalleled in the Three Kingdoms era, and Dong Zhuo will forever be remembered. Holy crap, that cutscene still amazing of Menkuo using his gaunts to destroy a tiger. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up Dong Zhuo in a nutshell, that creepy grin right there. <laughs> Where shall we celebrate our final victory? On a ship! Oh, I guess we kept DL Chan alive after all. Or hired a Wookalite to replace her. Hey! We didn't kill Macho after all! And he's meeting under a water fort, it looks like. In fact, we didn't kill Wu Pu or DL Chun either, we just let them serve us again. Dong Zhuo is surprisingly generous. Oh, hi, Sun John, how's it going? Wan Xiao and Guan Ning. Is there something we don't want to appear for this? No? Okay. Only Dong Zhuo can dance with a sword out. Seriously, he has to practice that once he cuts himself half the time. It's always weird who they bring in the end, ending uh, cutscenes. You'd think half of them would be dead, but nope. In fact, most of those seem to be Wu. In fact, most of those seem to be Wu privates. Huh. I guess we just bought one of Wu's ships. And most of Wu themselves, for that matter. Well, both that we didn't beat Borgen to death anyway. Alright, so that was Dong Zhuo's mission, I guess. I guess people who have been following this channel for a while are probably getting a bit tired of listening to this song, but... I'll let it play out for those who actually want to uh, listen to it, I guess. Over my commentary. <laughs> And that's the ending theme, in case you want to know. It's a song called Circuit, apparently. 
by Yo Hitoto and Master. When I look it up on YouTube or something. And the final credit of Omega Force. <coughs> Nowadays, the bet all these people are better known as Techno Koei. Alright, so that's that. That is Dong Zhuo's campaign completed. Always good. So, what did you all think of Dong Zhuo's grand finale? Was there anything I could have done to make the defection slash complete collapse of my army any easier? Or was it pretty much destined to be us versus Wubu and DL Chun at the end? Aside from bomb rushing them, of course, which may have been a good idea, but if not for the challenge, which I completed! I hope you're happy, buddy Ace. What did you think of the challenge that I did? Did you like it or not? And what do you think is going to happen next time for the final campaign? Which I guess I will briefly bring up who it's going to be. Yes, extreme, please. So, there's only one campaign left to do. DL Chan, done. Wu Bu, done. Dong Zhuo, done. Zhang Xiao, done. Zhang Jiao, done. Meng Kuo, and his awesome campaign, which will take some topping, done. And now, next time, we will be playing as the lovely Amazoness herself, Zuronk, for the finale. The final campaign. The only thing that stands in my way between me and Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends is this campaign. What do you think will happen? And do you have any thoughts on Dong Zhuo's campaign as a whole? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Anything at all? Feel free to say anything you want in the comments. And I'll catch you all next time when we return to the jungle to play as Meng Kuo's wife. Farewell Dynasty Warriors fans. Farewell.